Greetings everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to measure for your corset. If you want to make a corset, one very important thing about any dress aside a corset is accurate measurement. Not just measurement, but very accurate measurement. Alright, so if it is something you are interested in, kindly keep watching this video. So, the first thing to do when you want to measure someone for a corset dress is to ensure that that person is wearing a very fitted bra all right that person might be wearing a bra but the bra should not be sagged all right the bra should be very fitted and firm all right the next thing to do is to take a pen and a paper and write down the measurements that you'll be needing to take on a piece of paper before you start measuring this is to ensure that you don't forget to take any measurement that you'll be needing for a corset this aspect is not just for a corset this is just to prevent you from forgetting to take a particular measurement on any part of the body. So, having said that, and having done that, you can go ahead to measure your clients for your for the corset dress. So, I'm going to be using myself as the model for this measurement. Alright? So, the first thing to do is to measure your shoulder. That is if you are making a corset with shoulder. So, you measure from one shoulder bone here. To the other shoulder bone here. If you intend making an off shoulder corset, you can go ahead to measure the round shoulder. All right, you measure your round shoulder and you should hold it firmly so that your off shoulder will not be sagging and falling by the side. Then you go to the bust measurement. For the bust measurement, you're going to place your tape like this and you're going to measure at the highest point of the bust. Ensure that the tape is not slanted and ensure that it is seated at the highest part of the bust, alright? You should ensure it is head firmly and not hold loose like this. Remember, a corset is a fitted dress and it should not be held loosely at this point. Now, another bust measurement you should take is the bust span measurement. For the bust span measurement, you should measure from this point here to this point here. When you have measured your bust pan measurement i'm going to place your tape at your shoulder bone here ensure that it is crossed perfectly to the front part you're going to measure your bust point so from there i'm going to be measuring the under bust measurement i'm still going to place your tape at your shoulder bone and you will measure your under bust please do not mistake your under bust measurement to be your under bra measurement your under bra is most times one inch below your under bust this is my under bra and this place where my bra I start immediately is my under bust. Taking your under bra to be your under bust measurement will actually give you a long corset curve which is not most times beautiful. So ensure you take the actual under bust measurement and not your under bra measurement. All right? So you still place your tape at your shoulder bone here and you measure your half length. Now, your half length is mostly this boneless part of your waist, alright? This boneless part of your waist here is your half length measurement. So you are going to measure this way down to your half length. Ensure that your tape is crossed perfectly like this and not like this, okay? So you place your tape like this and you measure your half length measurement. If you are making a top, you can go ahead to measure the full length of the blouse. So from there, you are going to be needing to measure your waist circumference. Please do not get confused. Your waist circumference should not be tempered with. Just in case you want to snatch the waist of your client, you should first of all measure their actual waist measurement. Then you can ask your client to breathe in. And you are going to still measure the other measurement. That way you would have two measurements to work with while drafting on your boob. So you will have the actual waist and the waist you are snatching to. Don't just take your waist snatching measurement and leave the actual waist. No, take the both of them and jot it down. If you intend making a blouse, you can go ahead to measure your hip measurement so that your corset blouse can actually sit comfortably at the hem. All right. So the next measurement to take is the cup height. To measure your cup height, I want to place your tape here or anywhere that is comfortable for you or anywhere you, you intend having your corset to sit you place it here or here depending on how exposed or how covered you want your corset to be you place it like this and going to measure down to your under bust measurement 
please do not mistake your underboss for your underbra all right so you place your tape here and you're going to measure down to your underboss measurement like this so this is the curves height the curves height will actually guide you on how you can curve your sweetheart neckline or any neckline you want for your corset all right it will actually guide you on how exposed or how revealing you want your corset to be after you have measured this part you're going to measure the cleavage to measure your cleavage i'm going to place your tape down here all right you place your tape down here like this at the center of these two bones in between your neck i'm going to measure down to where you want the center front to be remember most times when making a corset the front the center front is mostly deeper than the side front all right so when you measure your cleavage you would know where you position your center mark and your cup height will guide you on where to connect your corset curve to so do not forget to take your cleavage measurement so like the very important measurement that you need to take when making a corset do not forget to take your cup's height even after taking your underboss measurement, alright? And don't forget to take your cleavage measurements. These measurements are very, very important when making a corset dress. Meanwhile, in our next video, I'm going to be showing you how we can use this measurement. I'm going to be starting with a freehand drafting of a corset before we go gradually into the complicated aspect of corset. So if this is something you would love to see, if like you want to see me apply this measurement I just showed you on my drafting, kindly subscribe to our channel so you will not miss our next corset series. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value from this video, kindly like this video, subscribe, and you can share so your other soul friends can learn from this. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow our page on Facebook, Chi Designs and Apparel. You can also follow our soul group on Facebook for interesting paper illustrations. So with Chi. Thank you so much for watching. Do drop a comment on any aspect that you are confused or on any measurement that is very important that I do not mention. Right? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next cosette series.